So in, in terms of, uh, and I, this this is where Claude, I'm I'm weaker in this area because I come from the enterprise space. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm at Cambium because I get exposed to so many new technologies and acronyms that I get to learn, <laughs> um, like WISPA, a new acronym. But uh, but there, there's a lot of there's a lot of technology. When we say wireless broadband. Now that's mm-hmm. that's a that's a word. I know what that word wireless means. I, I might think about wireless in terms of you know what's in my home you know, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, five gigahertz Wi-Fi. But is that what we're, but what what sort of scope, what is the breadth of the scope of technology? And and, and I'm setting you up here for just to let you talk about this, but what is the breadth of the scope that are, that these wireless ISPs have in their toolbox that they can utilize to to deliver broadband at, you know, whatever it is, uh, 200 meters to, you know, to 500, 600 meters, what, what sort of tools do they have to work with? Sure. So I, I, I think on a consumer level, uh, that's, that's, you're right. That's exactly what you think of for wireless. You think of your, your, your Wi-Fi router in your home uh, delivering a signal to all of the many devices that you have. Now, WISPs or, or wireless ISPs use similar technology, but the connectivity is is from your your home to a, a an access point what we kind of colloquially refer to as as the last mile and sometimes that's the last few hundred feet if you're if you're using a particular uh, you know higher frequency spectrum band or it could be the last several miles if if you're using uh, lower band spectrum but the the mechanics of, of how that typically work is, is you'll have a, a receiver on your home uh, and, and a receiver on, on a tower or, or another uh, you know, elevated piece of infrastructure that we were kind of talking about earlier. And it, it's kind of like fiber, but over the air. Uh, you have high-speed connectivity that's beamed in, into your home, which then gets distributed throughout your home using what a consumer would typically understand as as your your wireless connection in, inside the home okay so you, you you mentioned the higher frequency stuff so it's it's uh, you mentioned different frequencies so it's not really it's this is not a technology they're not using your home wi-fi technology so they're using specific work that's things that are specifically designed for the application it's not going to is it going to interfere i guess the question is is it going to interfere with my wi-fi inside the home the way that is typically designed no uh you you're you, in a lot of cases you're you're using different different technology and in some instances even different uh bands of wireless spectrum uh to 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 be able to talk in, in ways that that don't interfere uh, uh w- with with each other right so uh while you you may use a five gigahertz band inside the home uh, a WISP will typically d- design that network setup, even if they're using a five gigahertz unlicensed band to, to provide that connectivity from your home to, to the tower, it, it's, it's different equipment, it's utilized in, in a different way. And if it's all set up correctly, uh, you're, you're not going to experience any degradation uh, either from, from the home to the tower or, or inside the home. 